Hello and welcome to another My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I will be sharing with you how to fix a sidebar below your content error in WordPress. So here we are on our website, and as you see, everything looks good. We have our sidebar in the right position. We have our content over here, and your theme, of course, is going to be different. But what happens when you're working on your website and you have an error occur? Here is an example. We are within a blog post, and if you notice, the sidebar is missing. But if we go to the very bottom here, we notice that our sidebar is down here underneath our content. And this is a very common error if there's an extra tag or something that happens within this blog post, for example. So again, if we are here, our sidebar should be over here as well. But when we are on our blog post here, again, if you notice, everything is on the bottom. So we need to fix this error. So how do we fix this? It's very simple. Simply go to the W3C Markup Validation Service. You can go to validator.w3.org. Simply type in your URL here, check it, and it'll tell you where the error is. So for an example, the error let me know that there is an extra div tag within this. So if I look here, I notice there is two div tags that have been added. So we're just going to simply delete those. I'm going to update. And now let's go check out the post. There we go. Here is the site, the sidebar is back, and everything's back to normal. Basically, again, all it takes is there being an extra line of code, and this causes the issue. Hopefully, this little tip helps, and you can get your sidebar back in the right position. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.